Hello guys, in today's quick video I wanted to show you how you can use ChatGPT in VS Code. So there are tons of extensions already in VS Code and uh, well, I usually pick the most popular one. This one co named uh, CodeGPT and it's totally free to use. All you need to do is to configure it, put in your own um, OpenAI key. So the good thing about it is that you can read more about this extension, about its author, and uh, well, it's basically free. I tracked it for about two weeks and used it, and uh, I like it so far. So let me show you what it's capable of. First of all, it sits straight on the left here, on the sidebar, and you can chat with it as usual. Here is the input, uh, but also, you can ask it to explain some code or write tests for it or refactor it or well whatever you want like uh, let's try um, so you highlight some code and you ask it to let's say explain and uh, well this is a submit function for signing in or signing up depending on the mode variable that's basically it uh, we can ask it here in the context menu. You have multiple options of how you can use code GPT. For example, we can ask to unit test. So, and here will be some simple just code for the testing. Because I have just installed in the package and it is aware that this is just. Um, so we can save it into separate file and just run it. Uh, also, if you have some problem, let's say, let's say whatever, here we have a typo, something missing. Let's ask it to figure out if it understand the issue. So find problems. Okay, okay. There is a dot before the sign in function which could be mistaken for a typo or a syntax error. So that can help you figure out with some errors in your code and find uh, the solution. So what I recommend you is just to try this extension and it's much faster than copying pieces of code into your browser and trying it there. Also in the settings, if you go here, type code GPT, uh, you can see it supports multiple providers, like here we used uh, ChatGPT with OpenAI as a provider and we can select a model and if you have uh, GPT-4 available on your uh, developer account in OpenAI, you can use GPT-4, just make sure it's available. Uh, but also we can use just basic GPT-3.5 Turbo or DaVinci, uh, I don't recommend that. Uh, you can limit max tokens if like you want to save on budget, but this default value is fine. And you can limit temperature where zero is like it will repeat same thing again and again for same question. Or one is like most creative, but it will be a little bit random again and again if you ask same thing. So. Let me know your opinion in the comment if it is a useful extension or not and I may re review some other extensions in the future um, that I personally use and I uh, like. For example, Docker is amazing, NX console is perfect and I think I found my best option for uh, database access extensions for uh, SQL databases and no SQL. So, see you in the next one. Ciao!